Hi again, it's Anthony Robinson here with The Healthy Heart Coach. You know, the concept of earthing or grounding may seem like an idea dreamed up by some hippies in the late 60s in San Francisco's famous Haight Ashbury. However, there's emerging scientific research which has revealed earthing to be a surprisingly positive and overlooked environmental factor in improving both heart health and overall health. But what exactly is earthing? Well, have you ever walked barefoot on the sands of the beach or barefoot on grass? Well, if you've done either of those things, you've actually performed earthing. You see, the Earth is an electrical planet, and all of us human beings, we are bioelectrical beings. Our bodies function electrically. It is the flow of charged ions that causes our hearts to beat and our muscles to contract. The emerging science reveals that when we have sustained direct contact with the ground, it actually allows our bodies to basically receive a transference or an infusion of electrical energy from the Earth. And this is very important because it allows our bodies to restore and stabilize the bioelectrical circuitry that governs our physiology and our organs. It harmonizes our basic biological rhythms, including cardiac rhythm, while also being shown to reduce inflammation and pain. And this is especially important for heart health, as it is the heart's electrical system, which is responsible, of course, for making and conducting the signals that trigger our hearts to beat. You know, another major benefit of earthing is that it appears to reduce inflammation. And this seems to be done through the transference of negatively charged electrons from the Earth's surface into our bodies, where the electrons then neutralize the positively charged destructive free radicals associated with chronic disease that are present within our bodies. And these things are just the leading causes of disease, chronic inflammation. Now, many researchers, though, have hypothesized that our modern lifestyle has increasingly separated us humans from the primordial flow of Earth's electrons. For example, since the 1960s, We've increasingly worn insulated rubber or plastic soled shoes instead of traditional leather soled shoes. And we no longer sleep on the ground like we did throughout most of human history. And scientists believe that since these changes in our lifestyles the past decades, what we've seen is that chronic illness, um, immune disorders, inflammatory disease have increased dramatically. And some researchers have cited that it was the possibility of our modern disconnection with the Earth's surface has been a causal factor and caused our body's electrical signals to become out of whack and thus increasing inflammation in our bodies, which of course results in the manifestation of disease, including, yes, you guessed it, heart disease. So if you want to experience the benefits of earthing, go outside barefoot for at least 30 minutes, go for a walk on a beach, sit in your backyard or park. Just be sure that you're either sitting, standing, or walking on grass, sand, or dirt, or concrete. And preferably when they're wet, this allows for greater conduction of the Earth's electrons. Now, those are all conductive surfaces from which your body, again, can draw the Earth's electrons. Be mindful, though, that wood, asphalt, and vinyl are not conductive. So, if possible, make earthing part of your daily routine. You know, you can also use an earthing system indoors that you can use as a floor or bed mat. We can get these online. Now what these systems do is they incorporate carbon or silver mesh, which conducts the Earth's energy. And again, it can be used in bed while watching TV, sitting on the couch, reading, or while sitting at your desk at work. So I highly recommend that you start incorporating earthing into your daily routine if possible. All right, so go ahead, take care of your health, take care of your heart, and I'll see you next time.